Yeah, thank far you. Far too kind. Far yeah. too kind. It's amazing how many people can fit this car, isn't it? <laughs> right? It's nuts. Like a little clown, you know? Like the yeah. clowns just pop out of the car. It's nuts. Well, welcome to the Cobra and Mamba Show, where we take an amazing sport, bowling, and we put our twists on it, like snakes that. on the like lane that. style. Like that and I'm King Cobra, this is Black Mamba, as you already know. You already know. And, you know, last week, we we did a few things. You know, every week we do something different, this week's a little bit different also. We have a new, new segment, um, we're doing Bowler of the Week, which we'll get to later. And we're also going to do Snake or Not a Snake. A little trivia thing, a little fun thing to do. Um, see who knows snakes and who doesn't. But before we get to that, um, last week, John Kitna, Troy, er, <laughs> Black Mamba really wanted to meet John Kitna. My and hero. I told him John Kitna would be here. He did. And to make, you know, make everything, you know, better. And <laughs> John Kitna <laughs> is here. So... <laughs> Do you have any questions for me, John? For John Kitna here? <laughs> well, John Kitna, like the real John Kitna. Um, how are you so good at football? I want to know, like, how are you at, like, the, how are you so good? Right. Well, well, one thing, you know, my mom always told me is, if you don't play, you better be practicing. And I've always been taught that, so, you know, I... I'll sit on the sideline, and I don't care if I'm in the locker room or not. I'll have a football in my hand. That's good. Um, I'm kind of like that with bowling. Yeah. I inspire that. Like, right. You inspire me a lot, actually. Right. John I'm so happy that you're my <laughs> only fan. You know, really you, good fan. John, you should be surprised. Like I have your jersey. So many other people have your jersey. Like you're, you're one, you're an icon in the world of sports. That's awesome. People in Cincinnati still love you. Do you hate me that I'm in Dallas? No, I actually love it. You still throw to Roy Williams and. I thought after maybe two or three years that you'd get tired of it. No, you you go to you go to the game, you throw to them, and you guys are the best. I love the Cowboys too, so it's all good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Well, Detroit was my home for for a long time, yeah. and um, best three years of my life. You know, I should still be here. You should. And I, I'll have to somehow maybe talk to management in Detroit, and uh, hopefully maybe even Stafford can take a backseat to the real legend we got here. Right. Absolutely. And. You know, my buddy Dan Orlovsky, him and I go to breakfast every once in a while. Do you? Yeah, you know, he's with the Texans, and I'm with the Cowboys. And all we talk about is the Lions. It's really weird. That's cool. Like, Lions I, are amazing. Lions are amazing. Like, like they're the team to beat next year. I, I agree. Like, I'm glad you agree. Like, as from a different team, I thought maybe you'd disagree, but I'm glad you actually think no. that. Well, actually, I have to get going, but it was nice meeting you, Troy. Oh, it was. It was Black Mamba, good, good talking <laughs> to you. Good talking to you. Oh, John, the John Kidder just wow. talked to me. You believe that, guys? I am starstruck. Sorry, sorry if I'm a little like nervous. I, I know. I'm, I'm glad I got that on tape because it was wow. epic. Oh, I mean, I'm starstruck. Like, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, you just witnessed John, like the John Kidder was here talking to me. Yeah, it's crazy. Wow, I, I feel complete now. I, well, I feel complete. Well, you know, I think it is a good time to head to the lanes. I think it's a good time to get bowling right now. But first, well, but first, first. Me, and, me and Mike, we uh, talk outside of the lane sometimes, and he believed, for some crazy reason, that he could beat me in a foot race. <laughs> now, everyone's going to say, I asked a bunch of people, a lot of people. No, oh, don't laugh, guys, don't no, laugh. You can laugh all you want, it's funny, I, I like it, it gives me more inspiration, but I asked a lot of people who would win in a foot race, me and Mike. They said, ha ha, you would win, Troy. Ha ha, no, just kidding. Because I'm fat and he's skinny, so, like, society means, like, he's faster than I am. So, I initiated a challenge to Mike. A 100 meter dash. 100 meter? Yeah. 100 meter dash. 40 yards, I thought. 40, 40. Well, we haven't figured out the distance yet. We'll talk about it. I thought it was a 100 meter dash. But anyway, we're going to race. And I want to prove to the world that. Although I'm bigger, more, more, I uh, got more girth, girth than this guy, that I can be as fast as he am. Just because I'm not skinny doesn't mean I'm not fast. So I challenged him to a race. And first it was going to be a nice little friendly race. And I thought about it during the week, I was like, 
there should be a stipulation to this. Loser has to do something, like dye their hair blue, I, pink. I don't. Oh, don't know. I don't. I don't care what it is. But why would I think of that when you, the fans, could think of that? So what we're gonna do is, throughout the week, we're gonna get feedback from all the fans and list your ideas on the YouTube page, the Facebook fan page. Tell us, text me, text Mike, call Mike. Just give us ideas. And when we come up with the best idea, that will be the stipulation to this race. It gives me more motivation to win, so I can make him look worse. And you know I'm always trying to make him look worse, so. Sounds great. It does I'm sound great. I'm ready for a challenge. Let's square gloves here, bud. And uh, just to make this official, deal, official. the deal's on. Yes. Absolutely. And uh, we will probably be racing next Thursday before practice. That's what I'm aiming for. Weather permitting. Weather permitting. It might be freezing. You know Michigan, it snows, sleets, hails, sun. You know, it doesn't make any sense. But right. weather permitting, we're probably going to race Thursday. If not, it'll be at Sunday. If not, we'll get to it eventually. We'll get it on tape. We'll get all we'll the keep recording. keep you updated. We'll keep you updated. This this will happen soon. Uh, but, but send us your feedback. Yeah. Let us know what you think. And uh, we will see you guys at the lanes. The week. Of the week is you know in 10th frame we I wanted to strike I want to get the strike out and I missed I got a gutter I was like this ain't like me I'm the black mamba like I don't I, it was fucked up so I was like I need to get a spare which means get all 10 pins and I was aiming for another strike but apparently all I needed was six pins so I picked up the spare I, I could breathe again and I know if I could like I was aiming for my spot and my curve it didn't hit right, but I still knocked down eight pins, and we got the win. You know, I credit my team, they hit my back too. I just had a lucky 10th frame skill, whatever luck. If you want to read, I ain't more than anyone here, that's the Black Mama. Black Mama's going to get you straight up. You know him as the King Cobra. Absolutely, and you know, I need to say something very specific. As you saw, Troy Chofu, Black Mamba, was Bowler of the Week. And I don't think you guys understand because you were not in there, you didn't feel the the commotion, the, the energy in the building when Black Mamba went up there on the 10th frame. He went up there, he guttered the first one. I don't want to talk about it. No need to talk about it, you know why? Why? Let me tell you. He persevered, picked up that 10 pin spare, damn it. <laughs> yeah, I did. Then, I did. went to the second part of the 10th frame. Needed six pins. Needed six fucking pins. How many did you get, Troy? I got eight. He got eight. I you got eight. You know what eight. that means? Snakes on a fucking lane win again. Slither, slither. Slither, slither, slither. Yeah, you heard that. Victory. <laughs> Snakes on a lane, you better watch Bye. out for us. I'm telling you right now, we don't have just one piece, we have four pieces. That's all I gotta say, we'll see you next week. Uh, I'm thankful, Mike. Mike, it goes unnoticed, I maybe I had the spare and the pickup to win it or whatever, but Mike had to set me up to do that. And Mike picked up a spare and got a big amount of pins too, so he set me up. It's not me, I didn't, I, I bore the week. I don't really, it don't mean nothing to me, honestly. I wanna be the team of the week, I wanna win. That's what we're all about here, you know. It's uh, symbolic of our team, you know. I guttered the first time and then got 10 the next time. And it was like, that's what we do. We fall and we get up and we come back and we strike. That's what we are. Uh, but another, uh, yeah, you'll see Thursday. Big show Thursday. Big show tonight. Big shows from here on out, I promise you. This is the Black Mamba. Slither fast. And I'm going to get you straight up.